your mothers and your sisters, you are reducing them into objects. You must protest against this. I have met hundreds of them, how distorted they have become. This is not a moral issue, it's a mental health issue. They're beginning to say it is fashionable even for women also to watch. You're doing the dumbest thing that possible. Put your mother's face on that lady who is there. I think you'll get the point. Namaskaram Sadhguru. It seems that uh, how to stop watching porn is one of the highest search questions on the internet. I have a few uh, former classmates that got addicted to it and uh, their life turned upside down. Why do people get addicted and how they can easily come out of it? See, uh, you must understand, pornography does not mean sexuality. It's a kind of a sickness that you're developing. When I say sickness, sexuality is not a sickness, it's part of our making. We are here because of that. We are not here for that, we are here because of that. We are born out of it. So it's not a question of right and wrong. It's just that for every other creature, nature controlled their sexuality because their sexuality is seasonal. Rest of the time, they don't even know who is male, who is female. Hello? So nature controlled them. Why do you think nature took away that control from you? Because it believed that you got little more brains, <laughs> but you're trying to prove you don't have that. <laughs> yes, because at a young age if you watch those things, nothing else will be happening in your head. So in this process, I would say women have a much bigger responsibility and a need to stop these things because nobody's saying anything about it, and now they're beginning to say it is fashionable even for women also to watch about it. Somebody is saying this is sex education. No, no, it is none of those things, because of whatever little bit of fight that has happened or struggles that women have gone through, a certain amount of physical freedom has come to you. You're throwing it away with pornography. That means you're anyway an object, all right? If you want to become a being, you must protest against this, not on the streets, wherever you see it, you must stop it right there. You must understand this is not about somebody's joy, somebody's enjoyment, somebody's pleasure. This is about objectifying a woman, making a thing out of you. <laughs> if women don't take this, ah, uh, that much is not there in the man's head yet. <laughs> unless they evolve, unless they evolve, yes. And especially I have met hundreds of them, early age, they've gone into these things and how distorted they've become and how they suffer within themselves tomorrow to have meaningful relationships with people around them. They become so sick, I don't even want to say these things in front of you, the kind of things they have told me, what they go through because they got addicted to this thing yeah, when they were very young. So how do I get rid of it? You must understand this. As I told you, nature released you from a certain binding, thinking you are a conscious life, that you will do everything consciously. It did not mean that you are supposed to be doing just that all the time, reproductive activity. So, it's not about pleasure, it's not about joy, it's not about love, it is just a compulsiveness. If you do not understand compulsiveness is slavery, then what to do with you? Hello? You don't understand that compulsiveness is slavery? Consciousness is the only liberation we have? So, there is no need to give it up, just no need to go there, that's all. What is there to give it up? Is it happening here? No, it's happening in my head. See, your head is like that, whatever you imprint this with, that's what will happen. Hmm? 
This is the nature of your head. You must understand, every technology, every convenience that comes to you, you want to use it for your own destruction. Oh, what is the harm, Sadhguru? This is the harm. Your mothers and your sisters and every other woman who is around you, you are reducing them into objects. I am not telling all of you, all of you become brahmacharis and go somewhere. No, that's only for certain people who have the capacity to do that. But you must conduct your life in a dignified manner. Where is the dignity in this? Where is the dignity for the woman in a pornography? Hello? Where is the dignity? So you think by denying dignity for half the population on the planet, human population on the planet, you think you'll find some pleasure? Disgusting. So, this is not a moral issue, this is a psychological sickness issue, you understand? It's a mental health issue. So, it is not morality, you are becoming mentally sick. Just because you see something ugly and say hee 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 among friends, don't think you're doing something great. You're doing the dumbest thing that possible. If you do, if you don't get my point, whatever pornography that's happening there, put your mother's face on that lady who's there. I think you'll get the point. <laughs>